my dear students don't hurry initially because some of the student must be thinking while just reading the first line that it is question of actually conventional question of engineering services or like that actually in actually sufficient data is given to you in this question and it's a really very easy question of gyroscope and if you have a basic knowledge of gyroscope then also you can solve this question the statement is the mass of a four wheeled rear engine automobile is 2200 kg this is mass of four wheeled rear engine the magnitude of reaction in newton on each wheel due to gyroscopic couple and centrifugal effect because of gyroscopic couple reaction is this much because of centrifugal effect this much is reaction now respectively when the vehicle is moving with the speed v around a curve of radius small r sorry capital r if all the wheels maintain if all the v uh, sorry if uh, all the four wheels maintain contact with the road surface then what is the limiting speed of the vehicle theek hai assuming gyroscopic and centrifugal see this not point assume gyroscopic and centrifugal reactions on each outer wheels is acting upward actually examiner would uh, should not say assume in we have covered in theory but in engineering services class actually because i don't feel that it is of so much use for gate people but anyway if this vehicle is taking turn i guess you do understand these are going to be inner wheels these are going to be inner wheels and they are going to be outer wheels see on wheels there are going to be uh, three type of uh, support reactions one is because of weight and i guess we do all understand that for all of these wheels a vertical reaction will be in vertical upward direction will be in vertical upward direction and that i'm taking as rw and rw 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 and if someone asks me how to calculate rw that is nothing but total weight of vehicle divided by 4 because four wheels and as the examiner has not mentioned so of course it is distributed uniformly with all the four wheels now other than that gyroscopic reactions and centrifugal force reactions centrifugal effect reactions you can say they will be acting in the upward direction they will be acting in the upward direction with gyroscopic or reactive uh, sorry uh, not reactive gyroscopic reaction or centrifugal reaction on the outer wheels in the upward direction both of the wheels r z plus r c upward direction and on the inner wheels they will be acting in the downward direction as on the outer wheel r g is upward so on the inner wheel it will be downward and same for the centrifugal effect reaction that is r g and r c and you must need to understand now my dear student one physics you need to understand that total net reaction can be zero in the inner wheels not on the outer wheels total reaction cannot be zero on the outer wheels a student see and one more thing i must tell you if you have attended typically the gate class then my dear students this inner wheels will uh, release the or will uh, uh, what is asked to you uh wheels maintain the contact with the road okay e inner wheels will lose the contact with the ground or the road not the outer wheels no no it's a really a good question and concept too my dear student you need to understand and digest this part that inner wheels will lose the contact inner wheels with the ground or road not the outer wheel a student saying uh, thinking sir on outer wheel sir support reaction is so uh, support reaction is more than inner wheels my dear students as this support reactions this are uh, support reactions or you could say the total reaction support is actually because of the ground so that's what i'm referring support my dear students as it will increase the sum of because they all are in same direction either, either you see on the outer wheel of the front axle or rear axle they all are in the same direction so the total reaction here as it will keep on increasing the grip between the outer wheels and the ground will keep on increasing a student said sir how come sir sir force is more sir lifting will be uh, chances of uh, lifting will be more no mind no 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 you are misinterpreting the physics actually my dear students i'm giving you must example uh, i'm giving a good example here so suppose now my uh, my uh, feet are making a, um, a contact with the this this ground or the floor now my dear students why my feet are making contact with the ground because there is a normal reaction sharing and as if you are going to come and going to sit on my shoulders you i guess you do understand that the normal reaction acted on my feet in the upward direction will increase so now that 
as, and as you'll keep on piling up the weight on me, the normal reaction on my feet will keep on increasing in the upward direction. But am I getting lifted from the ground? No, my gripping is getting more and more. So my dear students, F, it will be increasing the uh, contact between the wheel and the ground or the floor or the surface will keep on increasing. So inner, at inner wheels only, the contact may cease when, when the net reaction will be zero, when the net reaction will be zero. So for limiting condition, for limiting condition, limiting condition what beta? I, I cannot explain here the much theory part, but I can tell you here some of the part at least. My dear students, the moment when Rg plus Rc will be equal to Rw, the net reaction will be zero and the net reaction is zero means net reaction from the surface on the wheel will be zero. And if the two bodies in contact are not exerting contact force, that means they are not really in contact. My dear student, I hope I can write Rw upward minus Rg minus Rc equal to zero. Here I must tell you. For any vehicle, I can prove it, but it's not a theory lecture. So I'm taking care of the numerical part only. So here, this I can explain a little bit. This remains constant in magnitude, but they do increase because they are proportional to velocity square actually. So as you'll keep on increasing velocity, their sum at some point will be equal to RW and at that moment net reaction will be zero. So this wheel, inner wheels will lose the contact or will lose, uh, lose the contact with the surface. So my dear student, you need to calculate that. Rg, I'm writing mg by 4 and the reaction because of gyroscopy 0 0.2 v square 5 v square. Here I guess 0 0.2 v square. It's really easy actually. mg is what? Given 2200 9.81 by 4. Here it will be 5.2 v square. I can calculate here for you that 2200 into 9.81 by 4 divided by 5.2 square root. This V you are getting is 32.2117 meter per second and multiplying with you will get in kilometer per hour by multiplying with 18 by 5 that will be 115.962 km per hour. Okay, so the best option is 116.